Warning, this video is made for a general audience. It may contain adult themes, consumer affairs advice, historical information, retail analysis, and weird funny bits. I need to say all this here because the YouTube systems are totally dumbass. Now I'm back at my local Kmart and I'm at the area where I watched for the bulk of 2022 all the Hot Wheels 20 packs being manipulated in store, cars stolen from them, and I end up getting this the stuff here to put on this device here which is a wire spider someone stripped that off a box of something around here I can notice here all the stock has gone and that's why I'm taking this bit of video here it is actually three weeks out from Christmas so empty shelves there so my biggest fear is very simple when new stock comes in there's no blue dot here blue dot means it needs one of these no blue dot here and my theory is when stock reappears here Guess what's going to happen? It's going to get busted into without a wire spider being put on. If I was a gambling person, I'd put money on the fact that when the stock reappears, it will be without wire spider. We'll go back to what I call situation normal, that is cars being taken out of box and flicked online or whatever. If you're wondering about the Maltese Oils pack, this is just your stupid people leaving food in store. Probably been stolen from the confectionery sweets area, candy zone, whatever country you come from, you call this something different and they'll take a bit of a nibble and then they just oops leave it here there's one on the ground um again that's just situation normal at my local kmart this is a nasty little find and just take a look at the area here we can look down that way clearly we can look that way clearly and what we've got here <laughs> someone wanted their transformer for nothing it reminds me of the videos that did toys stolen in store it was that transformer there why would you Flog that. That's the part that's got me surprised. There's also this here. Okay, so whether or not that's associated with that as well, but it's a little booty of naughtiness going on right there. This area of the store, and I'm in the bike parts area, and this shelf has been notorious for stuff which has been manipulated. I think this is cosmetics. Okay, and so you can see what's going on here. Maybe they were going to try and take this because I can see that this has been beginning to be lifted but they've probably been disturbed and i'm seeing this here it's sort of screaming to me teenagers well i'm in pet zone here as you can see it's all the nice soft toys that puppy dogs and sometimes kittens like to chew the death out of and if you know where to look and i'm up at adult height this is basically head height some of these bins reveal some dark secrets hmm, what have we got here a leather chamois now i found something like this before a couple of weeks back so there's obviously a run on chamois uh this here led light okay led light is missing so that's been walked out of store and also what's this here looks like they may have been disturbed or they couldn't get this open usb a to usb c lead Mm. Now what I do these days is I get this stuff and I actually take it to the back counter because I'm trying to help the staff here and trying to tidy up the look of this really, really sad store. Well, I'm in the pet area and this is sort of curious because I reckon someone's had a bit of a fright. There's a set of screwdrivers here. Some screwdrivers are missing, so I reckon they've walked out of store. This is a bit different. That's why I'm focusing on this. Looks like they've wanted to get a phone case, but it's still here. Mmm, so it's an iPhone 11 phone case there. I would say that the naughty people have been scared and run for it. In the lighting area, oh crikey Charlie's, I can see something a little bit mischievous. It looks like they may have been disturbed. There's an empty bag here, so whatever is in that has been taken. There's also a shower cap here. The fact it's been left behind says to me, well, they might have been spooked. Yes, again, I see this all too often, and this is a dangerous spot to be doing this because not far from here, up on the ceiling, I can see cameras. This is something a bit sinister. I saw this in the corner of my eye and I've got to go down a few shelves here. It was the cup that I initially saw. We'll move the bluey doodah out of the way. So we've got a McDonald's cup here. Uh, it has been emptied out and it's this here, which I really think that's people getting ready to walk this stuff out of store. They've probably been spooked and they've left it behind. I'm in the side of the toy area. This is completely out of area, but I'd hate to upset the balance of thievery in this shop and I'll reset everything to as it was. Well, this is the back naughty corner of the store, infamous in this store, and it's actually looking pretty clean. But I can tell you this, there's no Pokemon card 
stock in this store. It's all sold out. And I think this area blossoms when there's stuff to be manipulated. While there's nothing to be manipulated, this area seems to be fairly clean. I'll have a quick look at the Thomas stock. Uh, there's that there, the single metal engines, the double metal engines. There's actually two full trays of these here, which is really nice to see. So different to previous years. Uh, there's only one of these. That's the twin pack motorized. The three, three pack motorized, there's stacks of them. There's a whole like double shelf going on there. There's this here. And what is got my brain going is here's the Percy six and one pack, but it's gone up again in price. It was 29 to $32, I think, and now, 35. That's still even at $35. That's a fantastic price. It's always been a fantastic set. I sound like a broken record talking about the Percy 6 and 1 set. As a bit of a bonus amongst the three packs, I did find this Crystal Cave Thomas and it's got that artwork that's dragging low. I see it all the time. I suppose it's the new norm. Well, Crikey Charlie's, this is the very next day. New stock has been put on the shelves and as I predicted, guess what? No wire spider. So whoever's coming to this store is going to come along and there's cars in here which are extremely desirable. Oh, I'm actually thinking of doing what that YouTuber had suggested to me. It, what was the name of the channel? Excelli Reese? Oh God, I can't remember. And I know what he's talking about. Basically identify these boxes and then come back and work out which vehicles have been taken away. Okay, so tell you what, I'm tempted. Oh, nearly had a fail there. This is the last box here. Yes, but the trick is how do you identify this without being very obvious? Yeah, I was thinking maybe you put little marks in there. So, you know, box one, two marks for box two, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Should I go and tell the staff to put wire spiders on this or should I just leave it as it is and then whoever's pinching this stuff can have another free-for-all? I'm feeling a bit mischievous. Let's not tell the staff to put wire spiders on these. Let's put these back on the shelves as they've been put here without any protection. And I know what's going to happen. I can almost absolutely guarantee to you what's going to happen. The person who likes to break into these is going to come along and have a feeding frenzy of cars that they're going to resell somewhere. Of course, the big question is, when will this person strike? When will they come in and do their very naughty work? Just along from the 20 packs there, guess what? The $2 singles, they're on special. They are now a dollar. That's a great price. That's fantastic. And what's really nice to see as well is the pegs are full. We're in the final few weeks before Christmas. And it's really nice to see that the pegs are completely and utterly chock-a-block. My crikeys, it's like a Christmas miracle. The staffer who knows me in store here, who put the wire spiders on the stock previously, saw me and he came running down here, guess what? He put wire spiders in all the stock here. And guess what else he did? Something really, really important. It's down here. We've finally got a blue dot on the $39 there, which denotes this item always requires a wire spider. I learned today from a staff here why it took so long for this problem to be picked up and why I had to interact to get this sorted out. And it's very simple. It's when cars are stolen from these packs, maybe I can go back to the video I got of this, the stock would come back on the shelf, it would be wrapped in a plastic bag, there'd be a yellow ticket on it. But once something is yellow ticketed, it never goes onto the system as being shoplifted, it's just being manipulated in store, damaged soiled stock. So it's only when stuff is being walked from store, it starts to ping off on the system. This is being stolen and needs a wire spider. Stuff being damaged in the store doesn't ping off in the system. And in there lays the problem of why it took so long to sort out the Hot Wheels 20 packs and get wire spiders on them. I did actually come along and I put a little secret mark on these boxes here because I thought I was going to be able to do what that YouTuber Excelli Reese had suggested, which I thought was an excellent idea because I hope I remember his name correctly. So I did put little marks on this, like a naughty boy, but that experiment has just been diminished because we've finally got what I believe is a complete resolution to this problem. Now, in this video, let's now go to the area up the back of store where all of the stuff which has been fiddled with in store resides. This is an interesting little part of the store. It's right up the back of the store. It says clearance prices as marked. There's a trolley here full of stuff which has been yellow ticketed 
There's also whole shelves of stuff here as well. All sorts of things here. A lot of this stuff has been manipulated in store. Okay, so it's missing components, missing kettle there. You know, so all the damaged goods, lots and lots of things at a reduced price. And as I found out, everything here doesn't register as being, well, shoplifted. It's just going to be recirculated on these trolleys. People come along here and decide they want it for a reduced price as a tech deck set here okay and even wire spiders don't stop the theft and here's a classic example here it's some fancy looking doll there's a wire spider in this and someone's decided to take whatever was in there out so yeah wire spiders well they stop stuff from being walked from store but people are still if they're eager they'll still get into stuff but it's just astonishing how much stuff is here which has been fiddled with, diddled with, all sorts of things. Like, you think, why would you bother? You know, missing stuff. It just sort of doesn't make sense, but it starts to really show you what's going on here. It's quite sad. This item here, whatever is in here was very special. It's been taken away and it's got a reduced price going on there, down to $9. I'm actually noticing here there's quite a few tech deck things so obviously people like to come along and pick out the decks by the looks of it yes very very sad to see uh, look at this here it's like an old friend from the past it's a hot wheels 20 pack it's bringing back them very strong memories it's probably been up here for some time it's before we were getting wire spiders put on stuff and that's the sort of activity that was going on it's got a yellow ticket here let's take a read of this Soil damaged faulty merchandise. It says soiled. It's dated. Well, it's a little while back now. I'm shooting this in December. Missing 10 Hot Wheels cars and it's been updated to missing 12 cars. Thank you, Jess. And how much has this been reduced to? Well, down from $39 to $15. What a bargain. Bringing back so many strong memories of what has been 2022 at my local Kmart. Uh, that really says to me what was going on here for way way too long but hopefully that problem is solved the wire spider is fantastic to see on these but the real win is finally getting our blue dot and it's nice and fat my right, crikey's this has just been put in store it's totally impressive it's an end aisle of hot wheels two dollar cars but at the moment they're on special at a dollar there's no price tags here this is a tower of Hot Wheels power. Really nice to see it. So well stocked in the lead up to Christmas. Rare to see, considering what's been going on the last couple of years. My prediction is very simple here. The wall of Hot Wheels selling for a dollar each is gonna be eaten alive in the lead up to Christmas. Well, it's the next day again. I'm back at my favorite Kmart. We finally got a resolution with the Hot Wheels 20 packs. Thank goodness, Y Spider, Blue Dot, hooray. And it took a couple of months, didn't it? But what's above here is quite concerning to me although I don't understand what I'm looking at will all these Hot Wheels 10 packs suffer the same fate as the 20 packs I'm not exactly sure whether these 10 packs present with the sort of cars that people will pick out and then flick online or do whatever with which was going on with the 20 packs luckily I've got people who look at my stuff and they can explain it to me they're ten dollars that I'm noticing here and I'm just letting you see what's in these packs I'll just flick through a couple here you can tell me whether it's good bad or indifferent I'll show you one more yeah, okay, so I um, don't know my Hot Wheels realm. Uh, I've had plenty of opportunities to understand it, but I tell you what, it's a freaking deep bunny hole understanding Hot Wheels. Well, one thing that's curious is, well, the 10 packs are $10, so it's basically a dollar a car, yet the 20 packs are $39, so let's call it $2 a car. Doesn't quite make sense. Okay, this is two days on, and I can see the 20 packs. I think one's gone. Look at this here. Someone's been a little bit naughty here. I think that's all still there, but a pair of skizzers is gone. But look how many 10 packs have sold. This was completely chock a block of 10 packs. There's only three there, and then another three there. Six packs of the 10 packs, and the rest of it has sold. Maybe I've answered my own query here. I can't see that the 10 packs have been busted into like I was seeing with the 20 packs. So. Possibly that's saying to me, there's nothing really that special going on inside there. I'm not surprised the pegs have been eaten alive because the whole little single packs for a dollar. But look at this nasty business here. Very, very nasty business. Someone's decided this Hot Wheels, even at a dollar, needed to be stolen. 
that's just criminally insane.